Hey guys, welcome to the school of rock stars. This is another episode of Think Like a Rock Star. You need to challenge yourself. That'll do it. What a performance. That was very special. As was the resistance and the fight that was shown by Venus Williams, but she was outplayed. That's one of the heaviest defeats meted out for Venus Williams in Grand Slam tennis. Sharapova is back to her very, very best. You've won all the titles. I mean, you've done the Grand Slams and the US Open and all of that. When you look at now um, going ahead, is it an Olympic goal that you would want? Or as a tennis player, what more is That'd there be to special. do? Yeah, an Olympic gold would be special, <laughs> but... Did I hit the nail on the head or not? Yeah, you did, but I, I think... You st I still go into every Grand Slam, and I still, yeah. you know, inside of me, deep down, I have to feel like I still haven't won it because you still have to have that hunger when you go out on the court. Because if you go out on the court and you feel like, I've done this, I've done that, I do it every single day, that's not fun. You have to challenge yourself. And I, I go out there and I, you have to work just as hard, if not harder. I mean, the tennis has become much more physical, much more mental than it's ever been. And you have to keep striving for, for being better. And I personally never had a proper education. So no matter how much money I made on the tennis court, I didn't, I didn't want that to stop. I didn't want to, my thinking to stop. When you're on the court, it's like, not only is it physical and it's, you're putting in so much physical work, but so much of it is mental. And that's, that's the challenge that I've had since I was a four-year-old girl, is the, the mental side of, of the game. And, and I wanted to find challenges in other, in other different areas. Um, in business, I thought would, was one of them, because I've always been interested in seeing how things come alive and how they do and what works and what doesn't. challenge yourself what will happen you will get you will dream big you need to take actions because you will crunch down your big goals the long-term goals into short term then it forces you to think bigger it forces you to take action so challenge yourself if you want to push yourself to become the best version of yourself Take your five-year goal or take your 10-year goals. Then, then like, you need to take your long-term goals and ask yourself if you want to achieve those goals in the next six months, in next one, like uh, next one year, next one month, next six months. If you want to achieve that long-term goals into short term, what you need to do? You need to like because if you think if you challenge yourself what it does is it forces you to think differently it forces you to think bigger because you need to make it happen you need to crunch it down because if you make your long-term goals and and if you achieve those long-term goals in a short period of time like you will inspire so many people through your process, through your journey, through your achievements. So challenge yourself, challenge yourself. It forces you to think differently. It forces you to think bigger. It forces you to take actions faster, act faster. It forces you to ask better questions. If you want any help, you will contact, you will contact the right person. If you can't, you like, you can make, you will make like a, you will put yourself in the work, work environment every single day because it is forcing you, because you're challenging yourself. You're not any, you're not like a competing with any other person. You are competing for yourself. You are the competition of yourself, the yesterday version. You are the competitor of yesterday's yourself. So 
challenge yourself it forces you to think bigger act act faster and like because if you crunch it down your long term long term goals into short term and get it done in next 6 months next 3 months next 1 month you need to change how it will happen it won't happen by thinking you need to visualize you need to manifest it you need to strongly visualize and strongly like believe in yourself and and then and also you need to take actions you need to change what you do on everyday basis if you're wasting some time on watching tv watching netflix watch watching trash or like a uh, spending leisure time idle then you need to use that time wisely you need to change what you do every single day because you are challenging yourself so you need to change your actions because and and if you change your actions it it helps you to change it helps you to change your beliefs it helps you to believe in yourself more confidently and if it also allows you to change your habits it gives you productivity because your habits also become productive habits and forces you to challenge yourself force you need to force yourself to challenge yourself for the for the bigger game you want to achieve in your life because we don't know whether we live the next day or not so you should not make a long term goals in your life goals in your life so you should achieve those long term goals in a short span of time if you have that fire if you have that vision if you have that passion in you what i did in my life is i want to like um when i started my youtube channel i want to have that thousand subscribers i aimed for like a two or three years but i did my work i put myself every single day i posted three videos a day so so if you want to achieve something you need to put yourself you need to put your 100% every single day so challenge yourself challenge yourself don't be a victim of your life be a rock star thank you if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you as actors and as artists you you're constantly looking for challenges either in the kind of role that you do mm. or in the kind of movie um or like even when i did cocktail like cocktail was completely out of my comfort zone and i think this was the right film for me i i remember being offered um you know it's it's public knowledge yeah, everyone yeah. knows seven. i was offered fury 7 mm. and we tried so hard to make that work and it didn't and today when i look back you know a part of me is like it just wasn't meant to be mm. and um so i always feel like there's always a right time for everything and i think that this kind of this was just the right time for it to happen right and it was the right kind of challenge and in in a right way i mean of course the you know the character is exciting but i've never done this kind of i've done an action film before mm. but i've not done this kind